Do you need a simple website, but everyone's telling you to get a WordPress or Drupal content management system? But then once you do that, you have to figure out if you want a free theme or a premium theme. And then you'll spend hours or days or months configuring and customizing that premium or free theme. And that all might be way too much overkill. You might only need a simple one pager, or maybe even uh, a one pager with just a few sections on it leading people to a call to action just with a simple button at the bottom or maybe to subscribe to your newsletter or, or email subscription list. Uh, something like WordPress or Drupal might be way too much overkill. And if you need the website up in a couple days, this is how you do it. So after you click on the link below that has the special deal on website hosting, it'll take you to the Bluehost website and it will look different uh, depending on what when you go there, but this at the top, they'll say $2.95 a month uh, once you click on that link uh, that will have the automatically apply coupon. And um, depending on which slide it is, just make sure you're at the hosting slide that says $2.95 a month and click start now. Um, and then these are the three plans. You'll probably just go with the starter plan. Again, the starter plan will be $2.95 a month. Um, if you are planning to have more than one website, you might have to go with the plus plan. Uh, but for now, I'm just assuming you're just going to have one website. Um, and I would just go with that starter plan. Um, you, you know, you get 100 email accounts. I think that's plenty. Uh, but choose whatever account you want or package you want. And if you already have a domain name, this is where you're going to type it in. I'm assuming you don't have a domain name, so I would suggest to use your company name followed by uh, maybe the state code that you're in if that's not available or something related to your company name. And click Next and make sure that's available. And okay, it says congratulations, that domain name is available that I typed in there. And then you go ahead and click, uh, enter in your information. I would deselect uh, some of these add-ons. You really don't need it. Domain privacy is just protecting, um, it's just not making your information public. Um, if you want that, go ahead and click anything you want. Um, and you could click more information to find out more about those. But I unchecked them all. Uh, you go ahead and enter in your credit card number and, uh, and click next. And then uh, once we're set up, go ahead and click FTP at the top and they will automatically create an FTP account for you. Uh, you'll probably see it under here at the bottom at special FTP and on the right click configure FTP client. Just make a note of this information here or just leave that page up. And we're gonna use that information later to transfer our files. And to do that, we're gonna use FileZilla. So you can Google FileZilla and you wanna download the client, not the server. So if you have Windows or a Mac, uh, choose whatever one's appropriate. And when this pops up, go ahead and save and install the FileZilla program. Uh, just open it up. You're going to open up FileZilla. Click on that icon to the top left. And then you can click on that new site button because you won't have any sites there. Name it whatever you want. And then here's where uh, you go back and see where it says FTP server. Paste that right where it says host. And then for login type, we're going to do normal. And again, there's your FTP username. So then just copy that and paste that in where it says user. And then you're going to enter in your password you used to create your account. And then if this doesn't work, you should be able to connect like that. If it doesn't work for some reason, click on use plain FTP under encryption. Um, I found sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's usually the, the case there. And now you have it saved if you just hit OK. But then if you go back, you can actually click on that account and click connect. And now we are connected to our website host. Now everything is going to be in that public HTML folder. So go right into that public HTML folder and that's where we'll be doing everything in the next video.